In this video, we're gonna go ahead and discuss the comment strategy, which is a strategy for growing two things, your Facebook Messenger audience list, and, and, and you can also use it to grow your email list. Now, if you do wanna use it for both the Facebook audience and your email list, you're gonna to have to upgrade to the pro version of ManyChat, and you're also going to need a Zapier account, which is available at zapier.com. So if you don't wanna grow your email list, also, uh, you don't have to. You can just grow your, or use this strategy to grow your Facebook uh, Messenger list. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first things first, we're going to need a post on our Facebook page for people to comment on. So let me say, do you want free, free sales funnels? Leave a comment saying yes below publish all right so there we go i have my my post here so every time somebody leaves a comment saying yes uh, i'm going to go ahead and send them my free sales funnels so let's come into mini chat here and let's go ahead and create a flow so flow new flow We'll call this comment strategy free funnels. Create. So they, they request their funnels. So here are your funnels. Add button and we'll do free funnels or click here. We can go to open website and we could link out to our website. Let me just link somewhere crazyimarketing.com we'll just do funnel builder wednesday because i got some free funnels there so we'll send people here boom just like that now they can get their free funnels now i also want to go ahead and wait three seconds send another message and try and get their email address so also where we have five premium funnels available if you share your email available. Simply, simply enter your email address and we'll send them over. So here we're gonna collect our collect the individual individual's email address and we're going to use the user input field here and we did this earlier in the training so this might look familiar actually i need to paste there we go delete this option all right i'm going to select here and again this is email and we can go ahead and create a new field or we can select one of our custom fields so user replies as expected, text, awesome. Go check your inbox for your five premium funnels. So basically, hopefully you're seeing kind of the strategy here. Uh, we're going to give them the lead magnet they requested for like right away, like, hey, you can go ahead and download it here, but uh, if you want to upgrade to the premium version of the lead magnet, enter your email address so we can send it to you. So basically you want to create some sort of upgrade so that way they are incentivized to give you their email address. Like another example could be like, you know, a checklist or something like that that you deliver immediately right when they request it. And then if they want the follow along training video, which could be, you know, just a simple 10 minute video that walks them through the checklist, you can be like, hey, can you give me your email address and I'll send you the follow along video instructions to get the most out of the checklist. So basically it's just a way to incentivize people giving you their email address uh, because people don't typically freely give that out. So, so that, that's my flow right there. Let's see, so here are your funnels and then we try and get their email address, right? Right. All right, now what we need to do is go ahead and connect this Facebook post and the comments to this flow that I've created. So let's go into growth tools. 
and we will go to new growth tool and we're going to go to Facebook comments right here and let me name this growth tool so what what is this uh, free free funnels sure now Facebook posts for comment tracking select a post and it pulls in all the posts on our Facebook page or you could also enter the post URL or ID so if you have like a dark post or a Facebook ad that you want to connect this comment bot to uh, you can do that by importing the the post ID but since this post is on my Facebook page I'll just hit select and then we gotta confirm that this that the selected post is explicit that this page is going to contact users who comment via messenger okay and then there's the option to track first level comments only so either a first level comment or a reply to a comment so select that based off of your own requirements when user leaves a comment send message after immediately seconds and minutes so we'll do immediately exclude comments with these keywords so if you want like spam or no or I don't know hate whatever people leave you know bad comments on your posts so if you don't want to send them a message then you can select keywords here and then we can only trigger for keywords only trigger for comments with these keywords or we could leave it blank and it'll just send anybody that leaves a comment so since I specifically asked for yes I'm just gonna put that as my keyword hit next all right so for these comment bots or these comment uh, messages the individual is going to have to reply to the message in order to subscribe to your list so we need to and many chat tells you this right here so people who comment on your post will become your subscriber on messenger only after they reply to this message when they do it you can send them an opt-in message so be like hey did you still want the free or hey name oops so you want some free sales funnels just type yep yes all right so there we go so after they leave a comment many chat is going to send them a message that says hey first name so you want some free sales funnels just type yes and when they type yes then they'll subscribe to our bot and uh, we are in business so we gotta make sure that this message is super enticing and people will click on it we hit next so as soon as somebody types yes we want to go ahead and send them the funnels that they requested ie we want to put them into the flow that we created at the beginning of this video so send to everyone who replies or we can also do send only to users who reply with a keyword so I could do that keyword yes since that's what I asked for but I'm just gonna do everyone that replies and for my opt-in message I want to go ahead and use the flow I created which I have the comment strategy free funnels select this flow and we could also subscribe them to a sequence if we wanted to but I'm not going to and now I'm just gonna do save and activate all right cool now let's go ahead and test this thing out so let me go load up my Facebook page and I'm gonna go ahead and leave a comment as myself comment so if I type yes now many chat should be sending me a message and ding there we go so hey Nathan so you want some free sales funnels just type yes yes and now I should go into the flow so here are your funnels I can click here and then it's typing for three seconds and it's going to request my email address for the premium funnels so also so I could click here and go grab my free funnels and then here are my five premium funnels simply enter your email address and we'll send them over oh well I want those so Nathan at crazy marketing.com awesome go check your inbox for your five premium funnels all right so we've collected the email address now 
what we need to do is connect that email address with our autoresponder tool so we can actually send them these five premium funnels and that's what we're going to do by using Zapier. So let's go ahead and make a zap and we'll do hmm, many chat free funnels. All right, so first things first, we need to go ahead and select our trigger app. And our trigger app is going to be ManyChat. So we're going to watch ManyChat for uh, a new email address. So let's do new or updated cu custom field. Save and continue. Connect to account. We got, where am I? There we go. Connect. So you need Pro, uh, ManyChat Pro to connect to Zapier, which you need ManyChat Pro to create the email custom field anyway. And actually, let me come back out here. We don't want to watch for new or updated custom field. We actually want to go to new trigger a zap event. So we'll select this option here. Now save and continue. And we've connected ManyChat already. Save and continue. So event we want to watch for and it says, darn, we didn't find any events in your account. So we actually need to go create an event in our ManyChat account now. Uh, so come back into ManyChat and we'll go ahead and refresh our flow here. And we want to add an event after they insert their email address. So let's click here. And we have actions on successful input, action. And once you've connected ManyChat to Zapier, you're going to have this new option for trigger zap so we'll click this and what do we want this event to be called we'll just call it free funnels okay so then we'll publish now let's come back over to zapier and refresh hit the drop down and we now see that we have our event here so free funnels cool so after they submit their email address, this free funnels event will trigger. We hit continue. We can fetch and continue. And continue. And now we need to choose our action step. And here we're going to choose our autoresponder tool. In my particular case, it is active campaign. So I'll go with active campaign. And I'll go ahead and create update contact. Save and continue. Go ahead and select my Active campaign account, save and continue. Then I go ahead and go through the options to connect this person to my email list. So here's my email address name, first name, last name, user last name, phone number. So if I had a custom field for phone number, I could put that in here. Tags. So I could do lead magnet, free funnels. So whatever tag I have triggering the automation that delivers the free, the free funnels, the five premium funnels, and then I have all these other options here. Just gonna hit continue and skip test and finish and turn on my zap. And so there we go. Whenever somebody leaves a comment of yes on that blog post, they're going to receive a message that says, "Are you sure you want to receive these free funnels?" They're gonna type yes which is going to enter them into this flow while simultaneously subscribe, subscribing them to our Facebook Messenger list. And then we'll go ahead and deliver the funnels. We'll wait three seconds and then we'll try and offer them five premium funnels or an upgrade of the lead magnet that they requested in exchange for their email address. Uh, we've gone ahead and connected the email address event to Zapier which can then send it into our autoresponder tool, which can then send them emails. And there are kind of a lot of steps and it's not super smooth quite yet, but hopefully you understand the concept and process and you can make it happen. If you have any confusion about this, please do not hesitate to ask questions. I'm not trying to confuse or overwhelm you. And I know that this is a bit advanced, so please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.